Submission Underground going down this Sunday, 6 p.m. Eastern, only on UFC Fight Pass. Main event, Vinny Magliesh is back. So Vinny's going to be taking on Mason for the championship, but let's back up. Okay, Vinny's the Abu Dhabi champion. Everybody in grappling knows Vinny. Vinny is the man. Vinny's the man to beat Craig Jones. It's an open weight class. Everything's going your way. A pandemic hits. These guys are trying to get training where they can. They come together. They go out there and wrestle. Craig gets to his patented position, which is he has your leg extended. Now, many people will say Craig's patented position is a heel hook. The bottom line is Craig can just get down to your feet. He'll go inverted. He'll go traditional. He'll, there's something called an atomic. I mean, there's a lot of things that Craig can do with your feet. And he's now in that position. He's there with Vinny. I remember this, like this happened this morning. I mean, I remember where I was watching. I'm in a different room. I'm at the venue, but I'm in a different room. I'm watching on a monitor. And I'm talking to the audience. I'm like the commentator. So I'm seeing this position, and it's one of those things where you're seeing Vinny's foot is over here, his heels that way, his toes are the opposite way, his knee is now rotating. And as I'm commentating it, it's hard to not like like make those sounds where you're feeling it in your own leg, where it's one of those things you're going, oh my goodness, if that was my leg, I know my leg doesn't bend that. And I remember, and Vinny's face was so calm, like nothing was happening. I'm going, well, boy, Vinny, I know, always knew... Vinny was flexible. Apparently, he's even more flexible than I knew. Well, they go round and around. Vinny gets out of it. They go round and around. Craig gets him back in the same position. I remember how impressed I was that Craig could get to that position one time, but then he goes back to it a second time. And it looked almost as though he didn't use a lot of effort. And I remember watching it and thinking, okay, Vinny didn't respect it the first time. Vinny's not worried about it the second time. Something about his feet going that way, his heel being over here, and his knee completely rotated. Doesn't bother Vinny. And Craig does it to him again. And this time, I mean, he is pulling every bit. Craig's 200 pounds. Every bit of strength is pulling on this one piece of Vinny's anatomy. Vinny's face is completely blank. And I'm going, man, this is even hard to look at. It was almost gross. It was almost gross to see the leg and the toes and the heels and the kneecap in all different One's northeast, one's south, one's west. I mean, this thing's a mess. Vinny says something to him. Nice and calmly, Vinny, Vinny informs him, I cannot go on. My leg at a minimum is broken. Something along these lines. The referee hears it, referee stops it, that match ends. So Craig beats Vinny. Fair and square, by the way. I'm just sharing with you, Vinny never tapped, which is what added to the drama of this match. So Craig moves on. Craig's the king. Craig moves on. Okay, great. Insert Mason Fowler. Well, who... Who the hell is Mason Fowler? We're doing a tournament. Eight man, one night, 10 grand to the winner tournament. But the entire point of the tournament was to find somebody worthy of taking on Craig Jones. Not just somebody that would say, I would do it for a paycheck. Somebody who wanted the match because they believed that they could beat the unbeatable, who was Craig Jones. So Mason enters the tournament, beats three guys in one night. And this tournament was stacked, okay? If you guys saw the tournament, then you know what I'm talking this tournament was stacked. Mason beats them all. By the way, he taps all three guys. So Mason gets the right to take on Craig. They're in an absolute dog fight, which goes into overtime. And there ends up being a precarious position in overtime where largely I do have to blame the times, the pandemic, that nobody in there. It's absolute silence. And there is a rule that you, if you cry out, that is the same as tapping. Like, if you're ever stuck, Hicks and Gracie used to have a submission where you take both of your arms and you had nothing to tap with. And, like, his brothers would tell stories where they had to tap with their eyes. They had to, like, look at him and, and tap. So, also within the rules, you can, ah, you can yell and you can tap. Well, I bring all of this up because Craig was in a position that with Mason having a body triangle locked around Craig's waist and arching, it pushed pushed the oxygen out of Craig's body, thus making a sound that probably would not have been heard if there was a screaming audience there. There wasn't an audience. The room's quiet. And when you hear, oh, when you hear a set, referee has to follow the rules, steps in and breaks it. Well, that was enough controversy to demand a rematch. So Mason, Craig, they go out, they have a rematch. Mason beats him again. Conversation's over. Mason's a champion. Now, those guys had two... Do you go to three down the road? What happens there? Either way, for now, Mason's a champion. Oh, by the way, Vinny's healed. So while Mason was having the tournament, match number one, match number two with Craig, Vinny was in rehab. Vinny is healed. Vinny is back. Vinny 
has beaten guys who has beaten Craig. Vinny's only had one shot at Craig. It's one of these things, right? It's one of these things where every now and then you have a round robin. You got to get everybody together. Does Mason close the book? And Mason Fowler is just the best grappler alive. Well, then you're going to start to have the question, well, Mason, how long have you been the best? Like, how did this stay a secret for so long? Is Vinny the man that's coming in to beat the man that beat him? I mean, there's just a lot of moving parts here, but we're not going to have to move and wait and wonder a whole lot longer. Sunday is right around the corner. Submission Underground, 6 o'clock Eastern, only on UFC Fight Pass. The championship is on the line. Vinny versus Fowler.